hello once again welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i am going to show you how to prepare a mark sheet by importing data from excel suppose you have a long list of data in excel and you need to import this data into your old file then i am going to show you in this video very simple step how to import your excel's data into this odd file and the most important thing in this video is that you can very easily switch between your this data by just clicking here like this so to learn this technique stay watching my video so let's start with the video before importing our excel data into the word file first what we'll do we'll first fill these things like the roll number total marks and the division of the candidate so this is a random data that i have collected here here the things that I have included serial number, then student name, gender, father's name, session, class, roll number, then the subjects, total marks, and the division. And in the old file, there is the mark sheet. There is also a random mark sheet that I have prepared. So here the information that I need, the student name, then father's name, class, gender, session, roll number, and the marks obtained by the student the total marks and the division the student secured so let's start with the video so first what i'll do i will calculate the total marks obtained by the student here i'll put formula that is the sum then i will add all these subjects together then enter so here the total marks obtained by the student has come so by this way I will cl double click here in this way I have got the total marks of all the candidates secondly we will also calculate the division for all the candidates so here also we will put the formula so the formula will be like this here we will use if condition so if the total mark that is the n2 is greater than equal to 360 then we will consider this as first division once again if condition if n2 is greater than equal to 270 then we will consider this as second division once again if formula if n2 is greater than equal to 180 then we will consider this as third division and finally if n2 is less than 180 then we will consider the candidate has failed the exam so thus we will close all the breakers for all the formulas and press enter so now we can see according to the formula as the candidate has scored more than 360 so the candidate has got first division so now we'll click on this and thus the division of all these students as shown here so according to the formula the candidate who has scored more than 180 but less than 270 has got third division and the student who 
has scored less than 180 has failed the exam and similarly the candidate who has scored more than 270 and less than 360 scored second division exam so now the total marks also calculated and we have also got the division that the student has secured so another thing that we require here is to fill the roll number here also we will put some formula the formula will be like this rank dot eq then the number here on second we are taking is the total mark so we will calculate this n2 then comma then the reference from here actually the roll number should be calculated so we will click on this then one second comma then two option is there either descending or ascending as because for the highest mark we are giving rule number one so we will select the descending one we will close the bracket and press enter that's we are getting the rule number for the student so we'll double click here so automatically the rule numbers for all the student will show like this this student has got highest mark it is 594 so he has got rule number one similarly for the rule number two candidate it is second highest mark and the for, for the third highest mark the student secured rule number three so in this way all the information that we require for the students has been failed so now what we'll do we'll go to this odd file and we'll merge this odd file with the excel file so that we can import our data from the excel file so now what we'll do we'll first go to this mailing option here we'll, we'll click on this select recipients section and then we'll click on this use an existing list i put my data on desktop so i'll click there and i'll select my excel file once again i'll put i'll press ok so now this odd file is merged with the excel file where the data of all the students is available so now how do we we'll do we will merge each and every section with excel file likewise for student name we will have to go here and select the student name as accordingly we have selected we have given these names in our excel file like once again i'll show you here the title that i have given to each details accordingly i will select here so for student name i need by student name like as for gender i'll click on gender then father's name this name then session session then class will be class then for all number the number here if you are putting a different name in the excel file that is also will be okay just you will have to recognize which section should be merged likewise we can easily select that one so now I will also mark the marks obtained by the candidate in each subject for the English subject English then MIL, MIL General Science General Science General Mathematics then Mathematics then Social Science Elective Total Marks 
and the division by student as obtained thus we have marked each and every section that we require so now to view the result we'll have to click on this section preview results see all the details of the student has come sir kumar mail rubbish kumar the name of his father then roll number 12 total marks obtained by him is 472 sir kumar rubbish kumar then roll number 12 total mark 472 so now if we need a details of some other student then what we have to do is here we will have to find out the candidate details first like this, if you have long list of data also you can easily filter here and you can easily search the name so now what, do we, what I will do suppose for this data I need Pallavi Shekia here the serial number just I will see it is 18 number so what I will do I will just write here 18 then I will press enter so for Pallavi Shekia the details is shown here Total number 17 449 female 18 Total number 17 449 and she is female so likewise the data for each and every student we can get by just putting the serial number here likewise if you also click next then it will show the details of the next student like this way so now if we need to take print out of all the students or particular students from this serial number to that serial number we can also easily print take print out of those and if you need to take print out of all the candidates together we can just select this all section and then we can press and ok then the print out of all the candidates mark sheet will be done thank you thank you so much for watching